Hello, it's Nikhil Mehra. I'm an undergraduate BTEC student at IIT Roorkee. I'm going to give a presentation on digital to analog converter. My presentation will be split into two parts: theoretical part and the experimental part. This is the theoretical part of the presentation. Objective of this presentation is that I would be explaining the assembly language code for generating sorted waveform, RAM waveform, and square waveform. Moving on with sorted waveform, first we would be initializing the program. For that, we would be opening ATH, which would set ports A, B, and C as output ports. A sorted waveform would comprise of two nested loops. For the first loop, here is the code. Here would be putting the lowest weight on the input of digital to analog converter then we would be calling a delay why would we would be calling a delay we will be calling a delay because microprocessors are very fast if, would, if we would be outputting values without generating any delay the x coordinate of the outputted values would be too close and we wouldn't be able to distinguish those values on the oscilloscope that's why we would be generating a delay so that it will create a gap in the x coordinate of the output values on the oscilloscope then we would be setting a counter to count the steps in the sorted waveform then we will be jumping to the another subroutine i've named this subroutine to it will it would be generating the each step of the sorted waveform for the first step we would be decrementing the value of the accumulator and we would be outputting it and then we would be incrementing the counter then we would be checking if the counter has reached 0 f if it has reached 0 f then we would reset the riser a and b but if it does not reach 0 f then we would be continuing with this program then we would be calling a delay but before calling a delay we would be saving the values of PSW and BC reappear in the stack and we would be popping them out so that they remain unaffected when delay subroutine is called after calling the delay we would be jumping back to the tooth while tooth loop is running the microprocessor will keep decrementing the outputted weight and incrementing the counter once the counter has reached 0f 0 flag is set to true and the program would jump to start subroutine where it resets the outputted weight and counter and jump back to tooth subroutine here is the output on the oscilloscope this step would set uh, the lowest the accumulator to 0, 0 then we would be decrementing the value in the accumulator with each tooth loop and when uh, the counter has reached for, uh, 14 between 0 f then it would reset the loop then it would reset the value of a and b and it will be generating next waveform now Moving on with the RAM waveform. First, we would be initializing the ports. The initialization step is similar to that of the previous program. Then, we would be setting the lowest weight on the accumulator. This program contains only one subroutine. I have named that subroutine loop. We would be outputting the value of the accumulator that we just set. Then, we would be incrementing the value 
and we would jump back to loop and thus outputting the next value we will keep doing this we will keep incrementing the value of a jumping back to the loop outputting the value we won't be creating any delay so there would be no horizontal line then the value of a keeps on increasing once the value reach ff on further incrementing the value the value resets to 0 0 thus creating a periodicity like the value keep on increasing when the value reaches ff it is reset to 0 it will create a periodicity here is the output on the oscilloscope you can see how the value keeps on increasing then when it reaches ff it resets to 0 0 moving on to the square waveform similar to the previous waveform we would be initializing the ports then we would jump to the loop subroutine in the loop subroutine we would output the lowest value of the accumulator to generate a delay to create a horizontal line on the, on the oscilloscope then we would output the highest value of the accumulator and then again we would generate a delay then we will jump to the loop again this will be creating a periodicity the output will be like this output the lowest weight on the accumulator of the accumulator then generate a delay then output the highest weight then generate a delay lowest delay highest delay here is the output on the oscilloscope Thank you very much for watching my presentation.